Tonight, the Rialto School Board took on a controversial issue that resulted in the arrests of two assistant principals. Police say both of them knew that a 17-year-old boy had been sexually assaulting another student, but did nothing. Investigators say that resulted in more arrests. And KCAL 9's Joy Benedict is live in Rialto with this update. Joy. Yeah, certainly very disturbing allegations coming out of the Rialto School District. As you mentioned, not only because of the students' alleged actions, but also the alleged actions of administrators. Nonetheless, it was a packed house inside tonight's school board meeting as many wanted answers. The district will fully cooperate with law enforcement's investigation. It was the topic many in the boardroom were waiting for. Any information from the Rialto School Board after two assistant principals were arrested for failing to protect students from sexual assault. I am disappointed in you for not protecting your students. Max, who doesn't want us to use her last name, is a former student at Carter High, now an adult. She says the pain from her experience there still lingers. He forced me onto his lap and touched my thighs as well as my breasts, but unfortunately, the school told the usual saying, boys will be boys. This month, a 17-year-old boy at Carter High was cited for sexual battery involving a fellow student. But after investigating, the Rialto Police Department says they found two more victims, all saying the same thing, that they were groped on campus by that same team. We will take immediate action to review and address this incident. But what is even more upsetting to many here is that the police department says two assistant principals were informed of the incidents months ago but failed to take action. The prosecutor's office says their failure to report the assault led to more crimes. Assistant principals David Yang and Natasha Harris have both been charged with child abuse and failure to report it. Whether or not the board plans on taking any disciplinary actions against those two vice principals. An attorney for one of the victim's families came looking for answers, and the district says there will be an external investigation. But those in attendance wonder if that's enough. And you may be wondering, why didn't I report all the sexual harassment that happened to me? Because the school failed to help me in the first place. Certainly very tough to hear um, young people speak out in that way, but so very courageous for everybody who did so. And we should mention that both assistant principals were arrested today on campus at the school. They're being processed on a $150,000 bond. I'll send it back to you.